Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Rebel Inc. Escalation. We have a very special guest with us today. James from Endemic, the creator of Plague Inc. and Rebel Inc., has offered to challenge me one-on-one -on -one in the new Rebel Inc. versus mode. I suspect I am going to die, but welcome aboard, James. Good to be here. So, Rebel Inc. versus. We're going to be each choosing a map and a governor and trying to stabilize our region while destabilizing each other. Is that correct? Yep, you're controlling the insurgents in the other person's region at the same time as uh, your own map. Okay, gotcha. And my understanding is this is going to be going live out of early access pretty soon, yeah? Yep, Im very imminently. We're already on the on the final version of it, so you'll see a few differences to okay. the uh, previous early access version. Gotcha. So you guys should be looking for this to uh, release into the full version, and then we can have a lot more fun with this. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and get started. Um, at the beginning here, we can see that we have several different governors uh, we can choose from. I guess I should probably go for the smuggler because uh, I don't really have any experience with this, and this is kind of easy mode, so <laughs> smuggler's yeah, a win do, for do me. Do whatever you feel best with. Yeah, um, who, are you, who are you gonna play with? I'll go civil servant, I'll go boring. <laughs> okay, and you're taking it easy. In, I get it. <laughs> in terms of maps, so we've, we've had to balance the maps slightly to make them all fair, so you'll see an income bonus on different different maps. Um, I'm happy we can do the same map, we can do different maps. You, 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 you choose. Uh, well, I guess I should probably go for the Azur Dam with the extra income bonus, even if it is a harder map. Uh, is there an income bonus for different governor types? No. no, no. Governor types all just exactly as they are, so it does mean that some of them are more popular than other ones. Yeah. Well, I am ready. Are you ready? Yep, let's roll. All right, let's do this. Oh, gosh, I'm nervous. Take it easy on me. Come on. <laughs> I'm new. <laughs> You'll be fine. Well, so, uh, yeah, we need to tell everyone that you're playing on a different difficulty to me, aren't you? Ah, uh, so yes. Okay, so you there is... that quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there is scaling difficulty for different players if you're going into multiplayer. Uh, I am currently playing on a slightly easier Brutal difficulty, and James will be playing at the highest level Mega Brutal difficulty in order to give him a bit more of a challenge. So there's still a good chance that uh, I might be able to walk away with this just because the game is literally going easy on me, but we'll see. Let's see. So... The key thing you'll, you can play the game as normal initially, the key thing you'll notice is you've got an uplink button on the right hand side, yes. and that's where you control the insurgency on the other player's map. So it's a little while before the insurgency kicks off, so you don't need to worry about that too much initially. And it looks like I have a camp that is charging up. Presumably I can place this down and start spawning insurgents, correct? Exactly, once it's charged up. So once the insurgency starts on my map, you'll be able to... Gotcha. Uh, well, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, and I see that there is a new insurgency tab up here in the uh, the main menu, and I can pick up different insurgents initiatives. Yep, yep. So well, this, that's it's, exciting. It's, 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 you've, what you've got to try and do is balance stabilizing your own map versus messing up the other person's. And one, I'll give you one warning right now. Often people see all the new insurgent text and they ignore their own map entirely and have a horrible loss due to lack of stability. Yeah, so from the little bit I've uh, done researching some of this, it looks like um, you really do want to continue focusing as if it were single player on stabilizing the region. Uh, the enemy can only spawn, you know, one, maybe two camps at a time, which isn't too much more difficult than the uh, standard AI in single player mode. So neglecting stabilizing the region and focusing on only insurgents is a very good way to die. Should play this still kind of like it's the normal game. Yeah, yeah. You need you need to crack your normal stuff. The, the insurgents, when they start acting smart, you'll you'll see people trying to repeatedly capture the same zone and trying to hammer you with heavy reputation. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, if they can keep taking the same town, and you start losing twelve reputation at a time. That would be pretty potent, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Gotcha. That makes sense. Now, I can see what you're working on, which is interesting. So yes. I know exactly what initiatives you're taking. Yes. Huh. Now, what's the reasoning for that? Why, why, why give me intel onto what you're working on? Um, it, helps, it helps people plan their tactics a little bit, especially when it comes to the insurgent side. So, so for instance, if you see me beelining for airstrikes, mm -hmm. your insurgent camp's going to probably be feeling a bit vulnerable, so you might decide you want to build some Soviet bunkers for it to make mm. it um, harder to airstrike. Um, so it just it just enables more more strategy around seeing what the other person's doing. Am I can I force you to go too heavily into military? Mm. In which case, if you've gone really big in military, I don't want to spend much money on insurgency. I'm going to focus on stabilizing my own region. Um, Interesting. Yeah, nice. that makes sense. So uh, it, there's definitely a tactical element here where you're you're trying to 
balance getting enough initiatives to give you an advantage in stabilizing the region, but also force your opponents to overcommit to the wrong thing. So you can exactly. kind of blindside them. That's interesting. And also, so if you ever fully clear the insurgents off the map, Mm -hmm. you get a bonus to stabilizing your own region. There's no peace process here, but you get this bonus to stabilizing stuff. Oh, that, that makes one sense. One thing, by the way, go to, head to the uplink screen and deploy your camp if you haven't already. I have done that, yes, and I assume uh, you have as well. You've given me vital information now. I I, well, seeing as you've already done that, I'm going to send some insurgents to say hi to you. Oh, them. goody. Okay, I should probably get some units then, shouldn't I? Oh, hello. All right, so I have an idea where your camp might be, and I'm guessing targeting and taking down the camp ASAP is kind of potent. Yes, it's a, it's, 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 it was a very fine balance actually on terms of how much, how bad should it be to destroy the camp versus you don't want to knock someone out of the game forever. So yes, you, you, you do have a sneaking suspicion of where my camp is, which is unfortunate. Um, something that can be quite powerful though mm -hmm. is to, um, if I can keep your soldier tied up in a, in a battle for a long time, then I can make them want to withdraw sooner. So having someone sort of bogged down in a in a, um, a difficult battle is quite a useful thing. Sometimes. That would make sense, yes. Okay, interesting. So I can get you I can see you getting your airstrikes. Yeah, so I'm I wondering, so I would imagine getting, even if I can't take these mountains and get full intel, getting a drone and airstrikes would probably be pretty strong, wouldn't it? Yes. However, because I saw you getting airstrikes, I have already in the insurgent tab got some Soviet bunkers. So now ah. it's going to take a lot more time for you to, uh, to not Oh, I see. Out. Down over here with insurgent funding. Okay. Take multiple airstrikes. Interesting. Okay. So that's that's quite cool, actually. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of ways to. It's kind of almost like a game of chess. You know, you're you're using tactics and counter -ta uh, tactics in order to defeat your opponent. That's kind of clever. I like that. Very smart, James. You developed a good game here. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I forced you to retreat away from my camp. Wonderful. So, well, I've decided and... it's just not worth the uh, reputation loss of trying to run in there. Or, or maybe I was simply trying to get you to pull off some of your units, <laughs> so it's easier <laughs> for me to fight. Maybe, but I'm going to send this guy over. Okay, so I see. You're going for some stuff down over there. Okay. I haven't That's even fine. checked. Is there a hotkey to take a look at the... Um... Uplink screen, yes, T. Gotcha, okay. Yes, I actually said that. No, no, that's fine. Ah, uh, you T, are huh? that back. Did you just airstrike me? No, no airstrikes done to you. Oh, yet. I must have accidentally clicked on it and didn't even realize. Huh. <laughs> Oops! Oh, oh, so yeah, I should probably say control. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I just accidentally nuked my own people. It's manual control for all abilities. I did so notice you, you... that. That's interesting. Okay, my corruption admittedly is getting a bit high, and you're starting to run away with some stuff here. Uh, let's place down. Looks like garrison placement is important. Uh, manual as well, which is yep. interesting. There is an insurgent uh, tech which lets you uh, demoralize a garrison and make them collapse. So okay. if you don't like them, they're, so I they're, should oh, be wary of sabotage. Yeah. Other let's think. Other insurgent things that I should tell you about. So there's a very powerful insurgent tech behind the rapid assault one, which lets you do an ambush anywhere on the map. It's very expensive though. Mm, um, okay. You can also place tunnels. I don't know if you've encountered tunnels on any of the custom scenarios. I have, there. yes. Quite a few of those, actually. People seem to like them a lot. Yeah. So tunnels are in here. Tunnels were originally designed for Versus, and then we threw them out into the other one afterwards. Mm, gotcha. So I should probably be getting some, like, insurgent funding and stuff, but I can see where this starts to get tricky, because, like, my corruption, for example, is getting a little too high, because I'm spending too much money trying to work on other initiatives, military initiatives, insurgents, because you're kind of spreading all over the place right now. So balancing between all of that is trickier than I guess I would have thought. Interesting. That's very cool. So I'm trying to stop you from getting down into the southern lands by there, by there but I don't think I might have left it too late. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you've withdrawn your soldier. Every time you did you, every time you withdraw a soldier from combat, it um it it boosts the insurgents slightly. That's that's the single player true. As well. Yeah. But I My figured I was getting stuck in a quagmire and letting you kind of run free right now, <laughs> which isn't doing me much good either. So until I can Correct. train up some more national soldiers, which still takes forever, then I'm probably stuck with what I got. I can knock that garrison out. 
Okay, so two airstrikes is not enough to take out the camp. Oh, okay. Yeah, three for Soviet bunkers. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> Soviet bunkers, it turns out. Pretty powerful tech. Okay. So let's see. Now, most so of my guys are currently engaged against you, so I'm not making a lot of progress over there. And yeah, you're destroying my infrastructure and such as well. Huh. For, for people watching, this is my first time playing with the multiplayer, so I fully expect to lose. Also, I haven't had my morning coffee, but we're learning. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I designed it. Like, you, you know. <laughs> right, you've got a slight advantage. <laughs> but but I, I wouldn't say you're doing badly. Like, if you look at the top bar, you'll see you've stabilized slightly more than me, and you've got way higher rep than me. So, mm. in, in this game, it's very easy to feel like you're just in a doom spiral. Right. But actually, like... I'm struggling to, to deal with you as well, actually. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't worry too much yet. Yeah, I mean, if this were a single player, I probably would already be restarting, thinking I've kind of lost control. But uh, in this case, maybe I'm all right. Now it does take a while to spawn up some secondary camps if you haven't already got those. So that's good to know. Yes, you 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 very rarely have more than one camp um, alive at a time. Right, and that's where I was saying I think it's. I don't know if it's easier to play against another player in, uh, than in single player. That's not quite the right word, but it is it is more balanced because if the uh, other players had multiple camps, I can imagine this would very rapidly get out of control. If you were playing on an even lower difficulty, well, you you will get another camp before I get another camp. So that oh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know that the difficulty actually would affect that. That's good to know. Yeah. If you were on casual, you'd be you'd be rolling uh, in camps. Got yeah. it. <laughs> I should keep moving further and further away. Oh, you finally destroyed my camp. Yeah, I mean, it took a, it took a lot of drone strikes, but uh, yeah, I managed to get there eventually. Found your camp yet? I would think things like police recruitments are a pretty solid idea in order to try and make it harder for the other player. Yes, exactly, exactly. It means that every it just nibbles away at them, and especially if people get ambushes mid-game, it mm -hmm. lets you resolve it all. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm I I need to I, I've got enough stability to stay on the zone. It's good, but at this point, I want to try and get rid of all of your rebels so that I can get the stability bonus at least for a bit. Right. Whilst at the same time, I want to try and. Um, I want to try and keep my rebels in there, so at some point I'll probably put a few caves down. There's a, there's a cave tech which you can get as well. Oh, there sure is. Well, that's exciting. Okay. And I might even... I might, I might do a tunnel at this point. I think that would be annoying. For me. Oh, and I see you place a tunnel. Okay. <laughs> well, that's very dastardly of you. Let's see. Stronger garrisons might help a little bit. Fighting in mountains still turns out to be pretty tough. Yeah. So I'm guessing that it's a pretty decent strategy to be placing your camps in mountains where it's hardest for the other player to uproot you. If at all exactly. possible. Exactly. Okay. But you are pushing back. But that does risk you getting cornered, uh, because every map, of course, does have, you know, some place to, uh, to kind of keep everyone quarantined in one zone. So you gotta, you gotta play the odds on that. Is it worth staying in a hard, entrenched area, or is it worth staying in kind of a central area where you can retreat in lots of directions and hopefully spread out without getting caught. And also a tunnel can be quite useful for that. Oh, the that's a fair point. Yeah, the tunnel would be really good for that, wouldn't it? And you have a it cave. Is. Okay. They have a cave troll. So Let's I've see. got you bottled up nicely. I'm feeling quite good about that. You might want to consider getting the rapid assault tech and then there's an ambush tech. So you could do an ambush somewhere entirely separate and force me to, to move my soldiers back effectively. Oh, you're right. Ambushes and stuff. Okay. So they're, 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 they're only three. You're, there's three rebels and they get rapidly more expensive. But it does mean that, that you can force back into a place. Suddenly I have to break my line because I've got you pretty quarantined at the moment. Yes, you do. Yes. I chose, I chose some uh, not as defensible mountains. And I see, and but but now you've got rebels in that place. Also, you can build a tunnel 
wherever you've got rebels. So you could now also build a tunnel where you just put that ambush and now you can suddenly connect. You can take all the troops out of that top left corner mm -hmm. and dump them into the other side. That's interesting. Very interesting. Oh gosh, there's so many tactics I've got to learn for this. All right. No, that's great though, because I mean, like, I've been I've been looking for some more challenging uh, Rebel Link play, and uh, this this seems like the way to go. I mean, especially if there is a good matchmaking system based off of the skill level, where uh, it does actually rank you up against you know other players who are close to your skill. But even then, right, because the way you've done it, uh, you have you know the difficulty system which can scale. So exactly. even if you're going against someone who's not as skilled, you still will have a challenging game. Oh, yeah, so it's designed so that you, you don't need to match again. You will ma if you match against somebody, whatever the difficulty level, you will, once you've played a few games to get your skill to the right level, you will have a challenging game. Hmm. Um, like, I, I, I was, when I, the other day I was playing against somebody who was on casual E, mm -hmm. and it was still pretty nail-biting. I think mm. maybe they should have been difficult designed, to be honest. Oh, God, so you have, you've just done it, haven't you? you you've tunneled. There's an enormous red diamond on my map at the moment. I, I might have tunneled a little bit. <laughs> Uh, okay. I mean, I'm trying, dang it. I'm not doing great here, but I'm trying real hard. <laughs> and now, because of this, I have entirely neglected the rebels on your map. I've been too busy. Yes, all according to plan. Distract you as much as possible. I mean, for me, this is a win-win, though. Like, if you win, I'm just going to say I, I'm letting you win because I know people are watching. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not even complain. I'm good with that. Uh, oh, I'm so close to trapping those guys as well. I need garrisons. So I think I didn't realize that I can move, kind of split off smaller groups um, yes. within the uh, insurgents, so I actually can cover more ground than I thought. Yes. I did not realize, so that's good to know. Oh, there's your bloody tunnel. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to park a soldier on that tunnel exit to make sure that your guys can't use it. Well, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you? <laughs> we'll see how well that works. Now, oh, caves, uh, do they function as spawners in multiplayer? Caves? No, they don't. No, no. it's only camps. Okay. So no, the I advantage of the caves is what exactly in this case? Um, it, it delays. It means that you it, you've got to put you've got to keep rebels on there, for insurgents on there for longer, mm. so that you can clear it. So it stops. And also, when it comes down to the end, it's really close in terms of um, how everyone will be desperately trying to remove the other person's rebels so they get the stability bonus. Right. So I'll I will be dumping down caves and stuff wherever I can, just trying to to keep my, my insurgents on the map for long enough to stop you stabilizing. Right, that makes sense. Huh. Now, I am surprised how long it takes to get a second camp, even at um, a lower difficulty for me. Definitely takes it a bit of work. It depends very much on how many insurgents you've got left on the map, so it's mm -hmm. kind of a balancing mechanic in a way. If you've got a lot of insurgents, you don't uh, need another camp. We're not going to give you one. Ooh. That makes sense. Well, that's yeah. probably fair. <laughs> Don't destroy my garrison. Luckily, I've got a lot of airstrikes saved up, so I think I should be able to obliterate you quite easily. Yeah, okay. Oh, so you are very about to wipe out all of my guys. Well, if I can, but I imagine then... Oh, hang on. I say that I'm about to, but I see you spawned another camp over here, which I guess... Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to admit to anything there. But it, if you can kill all those rebels with the insurgents, it, it still takes it takes a long time to regain insurgents, much longer than it does in single player. So killing them all out is a worthy thing. Gotcha. And because it's a worthy thing, I'm spending money on a tunnel immediately. So <laughs> Try to escape as much as you can then, huh? <laughs> well, no, it looks like I managed to get them all. But it looks like you've got quite a few more who've popped up all of a sudden. So that's through a tunnel. I put a tunnel in that I region see that, where you yeah. were But where them. did you, where did they come from? Oh wait, no, you were actually, okay, I thought I actually managed to kill them based on what happened on the map, but I guess they okay. all just transferred over really quick. Exactly. Ah, so darn you! If you had put a soldier on that tunnel exit as well, uh -huh. they wouldn't have got out of it. But I mean, gotcha. I'm still feeling pretty on the ropes here. Like, I mean, except, well, they're, they're, hopefully they're there for a while, but I am not feeling 
comfortable at all. I'm, I'm taking way too long to deal with all of your insurgents. Yeah, speaking of which, I should probably go ahead and move a few. And I imagine there's something intelligent about sending guys just to break off the reinforcements so it takes you even longer to win some fights. Yes, yes. So, so, so what, what do you mean exactly? Well, what I mean is um, deliberately sending some guys to just kind of go and attack a reinforcing army so yes, that they can't, yes. um, so that they're not helping their neighbors and uh, they're all kind of fighting on their own. Yes, that can be very effective. That makes sense. Okay. Out of here. Okay, I think I'm close to killing your rebels. Yeah, I feel I feel like I'm in a good position there. You're trying to break out, but I'm not gonna let you. Am I still able to retreat even while you're actively attacking? Uh, if you're winning the battle. If I'm winning the win. battle, I can. Okay. Yeah. So if 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 my soldiers are completely useless and not doing anything, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to deal with them. Gotcha. Oh, I just got an achievement. Oh no! You're about to get me again. I'm going to try and destroy your garrison. Oh, quick! No. Oh, no. Where are they going? Oh. I was going the direction you wanted them to go. No, I thought I thought you'd beat them. I was going to, I was going to demoralize your garrison and make them retreat. Mm, gotcha. Them. I can do it anyway, I bought the tech now. Bye bye, Garrison. Uh, and you've just done an ambush. And are you going to copy me and put a tunnel in there? Yeah. If I. I mean, I can't confirm or deny anything at this point. I'm going to airstrike you very quickly and try and kill you beforehand. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh. Oh, I did get them! You didn't yeah, I didn't uh, actually have the funds to follow up quite ah. as early as I wanted, so oops. Good. Oh, I've had to just send my first soldier in. Oh, so you tried doing a landmine as well. So landmines, yeah, they can be um, very potent, um, especially if you if there's a city that's been captured a few times. Mm -hmm. You can do an ambush, immediately put a landmine in it, and then it's very hard to get soldiers there to, to reinforce it in time. Right, that makes sense. So, okay, I am... Um, Nearly, so we're, you're stabilizing way more than me. I haven't got enough rep to do anything anymore. So I need to try and delay. I need to try and delay. Now, how did you get... Oh, you had a third tunnel. I forgot about the third tunnel. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> got me there. All right. All right. Fair enough. So I got to make sure I keep some... So are you unable to use tunnels if they're actively being blocked? You can use them, but you can't flee to them. So it's just like normal fleeing. Um, insurgents can't flee to a place where there's where there's um, a soldier. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. What's this? Oh, you have garrison sabotage too. Oh, uh, yeah. That would make sense. Now, my reputation is quite low. It looks like you have. 13, though, so your reputation yeah, suffering yeah, quite a bit, Yeah, you've got a very high reputation. I'm very jealous of your reputation. Well, I need... it's nice to be envied in some way or another. Although I'm hoping that by by knocking that zone out, I've taken that zone out twice now, so I'm hoping that will have done damage to your reputation a bit. You there. definitely did a lot of def uh, damage by going for that city again, no doubt. Okay. Whoa. Probably should say sorry rather than risk a 28% chance of people getting angry at an airstrike. You haven't got the reputation to spare. Ah, oh, good. Exactly. My guys are back in the mountains. They're happy there. They're happy, happy in the mountains. Well, the thing is, I should maybe be able to stop that? It's hard to say. Because you sure just you have, have lots mention. and lots of move commands. So the second you set up in a new zone, you could just keep running and just make me chase Oh, yeah, after you have you. infinite move. As long as yeah. you've read it, as zones red, you can, you can move as much as you want. Yeah. Uh, you're going you're gonna to push them right there. Hoping, but you're probably gonna get yourself another tunnel, aren't you? Which is kind of what you no, do. No, you only get three, unfortunately, and I'm having to send another. I've just had to send another. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Okay, I've got. I have no rebels from you on the map. That is good. That means I should start stabilizing quicker. You, if only you could destroy that cave, but luckily you can't. So I now. Well, you can't to... airstrike a cave, unfortunately. Much as that would be fun. If you put a drone up, it will clear the cave quicker, and there's the cave clearing tech. Are you going to get that? I have the cave clearing tech. I had no idea the drone's impact, though. Is that true in single go. player as well? Yeah, it is. There you go. Develop a Easter egg for you. Oh, 
Well, that's not significant. It helps a little bit. Drones, drones help in general with with a lot of things. On a so at this point for you, and if you want to try and put a camp down somewhere if you can, and if you can't, you want to be getting more ambushes to try and desperately keep your presence on the map. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. Although at some point, I guess I could just kind of ignore your side of the map and say, you know what, I've got a stabilizing advantage. I should just keep focusing on that and uh, let you run free, which probably isn't a great idea. But well, except that if there's no insurgents on the map, you get a bonus. Really? Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, okay. You're, yeah, that makes more sense then. Oh, bloody everywhere. And so I now have no insurgents on your map, which is a bad thing. Definitely not good. Oh, I see you've got a soldier retreating. That's nice to see. Well, I didn't want to lose any more reputation on that. I want to have the option to pick up some more units instead. Although, I can see on multiplayer, um, we're taking the risk and uh, going to keep your coalition soldiers for as long as possible might actually be pretty smart. Maybe you should just yeah, keep all of them. It, well, it's worth it until the end, obviously, and then it's not worth it. Right. Um, Oh, what do I need here? I'm sp okay, they're in the cave. That's good again. That's where I wanted them. Yes, but now I know that drones help me clear this out, so... <laughs> I should not have told you that. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's really good to know from a uh, single player if I'm ever going for some more Mega Brutal uh, campaigns. Ah, you set up another cave. How dare you? Just desperately trying to hang on so yeah. that I can clear your guys. And Unfortunately, I'm gonna that's the best spot for you right now, just because it's going to take me five units to clear that out completely, and I still have to worry about a cave. Yes. Pretty smart play there. Well, no, it's the only place I can go. Look, if you look, you've got it everywhere else. Right, I've got I everywhere else stable. Everywhere else. And I assume you're not able to set up a camp wherever people are stable. No, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, no, don't go into the tunnel. No. Ah. Oh. That tunnel one is infuriating. I've got to get that guy back over there now. Ah, you got him really fast. I guess you have lots of infrastructure. All right, okay. so I should be able to set up got over that. there, and from here on, it should be mostly clear sailing for me. Mostly. I wish I hadn't used my third tunnel now. Yeah. Okay. But I'm... You've got so much green. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to focus on the stabilizing game. If I can just get rid of your last rebels, I'm going to get a big stabilizer bonus. I'm sending drones all over where I think you might spawn a camera. Check a camp to see if that can help. I am moving around way too much. I can't destroy your garrisons when they're green, which is Right. Okay, okay. Right. Dead. Oh, they're in the fucking ground of that group. I need to get the cave tech. Okay. And if I set up over here... Where's your camp gonna be? I've only got one drone left I can use to try and find it. Maybe I'm trying to wait until you seem distracted. Oh, and you're trying to do a garrison. Let's destroy that straight away. Or maybe I forgot that I even uh, had another camp. <laughs> ah! So I've wasted all these drones for nothing. <laughs> So I still haven't got you out of that cave yet. Come on, flee that way. Okay, I've got that out. Where's your camp? If I can find your camp before it can spawn anything, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's there, it's there. I can't see, I have run out of drones, but I can see it. No, you spawned again. <laughs> if I had a drone, I could have airstriked it. That would have been the way to go. Oh, well. Alright, right. now we go back into just stabilizing mode. <sighs> I'm getting somewhere. Text that I can do. You doing okay there? Feeling alright? No. no. See, no, I can't I even can't. take this victory though, because at the end of the day, <laughs> you're playing on a much higher difficulty than I am. So, <laughs> if I win, <laughs> it's just because of that. <laughs> You haven't played the, the verses is so different. I, it I, is I think different. you can definitely feel pleased with yourself if you do. If you win. I mean, I'm not I'm not giving up yet. Oh, you managed to get your reputation back up to seventeen. Oh, but I no, you've got you've got enough soldiers that you can cover everywhere. That I've got was a camp. the goal, I yes. Even, I can't even deploy this camp. Good, good, yes. <laughs> 
Okay. Now, of course, with the civil servants doing what they're doing, uh, we should be rolling out initiatives pretty quickly in these zones. Okay. So, yeah, from here on, there's not much you can do, but soon I should be able to spawn another camp. Yeah, I, I think you've got this at this point. Oh like, uh, gosh, if, I if hope I'd, so. If I whiff right now... <laughs> if I'd got bad. that last camp before you spawned anything from it, I would have been... Mm -hmm. I, think that. I think the lesson I'm really taking out of this, though, is uh, clever use of tunnels can make a huge difference. Well, I'm thinking use maybe different. I used them too soon. Maybe well, in I your should. case, maybe, but, I mean, you, you definitely prevented me from cornering you a lot earlier, too, so... It made a pretty big difference in forcing me to scramble. I had to commit a lot of resources to getting extra units. Which is pretty smart. Uh, right, okay, so I've now... ...stabilized, but... Uh, you've done a... Ah, in the tunnel. In the tunnel, Trying yeah. to. Now, you've for some reason, my one. movement commands have gone away. Something changed there? Um, it's... You can't move if the zone's not red. Oh, 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 okay. That's fair. And an ambush. Yeah. No, you've got this. Hard Mantis has been beaten by Swamp Justice. I like Swamp Justice, man. What can I say? <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. Uh, that was shameful. challenging. Wow. Wow. Oh, I got an achievement. I thought we were friends. James, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's really quite fun. Goodness gracious. What an engaging way to play the game. I like this a lot. You want to have a rematch? Uh, I think we will on my own time. I think for this video we're about 30 minutes in, so that's probably enough to show guys, uh, you guys what's going on. So I'll, I'll cut the video here, but I think we should play another rematch and see what else I can learn. So James, thank you very much for showing this off my audience. This is really cool. No worries. Take care. Absolutely. So thank you all for watching. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then of course I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.